What's up everybody? My name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my satyr and today we are talking about How the King of Elfheim Learned to Hate Stories by Holly Black. I was actually on the fence about reading this book. I, I like when it comes to novellas sometimes I'm really into it and other times I'm just like you know maybe if I get time for it but the main thing that drew me to it is the beautiful artwork in this. So this is kind of like a story fairy tale type book so because of that it's like fully illustrated and the artist just did an amazing job like honestly more than anything like you want to own this book just to be able to put it on your shelf it's beautiful it will make a great addition to your shelf but on top of that the story is amazing as well so that definitely helps i am a huge fan of the cruel prince i loved that trilogy so much i actually talked about it for six hours but i really love Cardin. i think he's a really fascinating character so when it came to get more like of an in-depth look at him i wasn't quite sure what to expect like he is so mysterious like we know a little bit about his background. We know a little bit about like what's going on in his head. So when it came to like getting those things confirmed, like I will admit I was nervous, but The King of Elfheim is set after the events of the entire trilogy. So if you haven't read that trilogy, obviously there are going to be spoilers in this book for that, but this is Jude and Carden, you know, post all of the craziness that happened. They're going back to the moral realm, you know, they're just settling some disputes, but that's not really the main focus. We are in Carden's head and it's him kind of remembering back to like how he got here and we see that he was told the story several times throughout his life and each time he heard it it kind of had a different effect on him and just seeing you know the way he was treated and the way he was viewed and how he would change his persona in order to fit that in order to keep on surviving it was really cool and I really liked seeing that I feel like it really just solidified a lot of the headcanons people had about Cardinal. You get to see some interesting scenes from the first book in particular from his perspective which I really Really enjoyed and overall like when we got to the end of the story to see you know Cardin kind of playing the hero it was just really cool to see and I really enjoyed it so overall I'm giving this book an A plus I think you know the art the way that it was set up exactly like a storybook like I felt like it was a bedtime story like it, it felt like when I was a little kid and like I would read bedtime stories or have them be read to me except this is Jude and Cardin you know our murder duo and they're like watching Knives Out like that kind of thing but I just feel like Holly Black really nailed it. I really, really enjoyed this. And it makes me excited to see, like, I don't know if she's going to do more stuff like this for Jude and Carden, but after this, I would be 100% here for it. So I'm giving this book an A plus, and I really recommend that you check it out. And if you don't want to read the story, which I mean, you totally should, you need to at least leaf through it because the art is just beautiful. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe so you can talk books with me every week. That is everything I got for today, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.